Good morning, Indians. Welcome back to INM. My name is Stefan. And my name is Jamie. Let's get started with the pledge. Good morning, Indians. My name is Constantino. And my name is Santiago. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have a great day. Indians, are you interested in being an MC for the Winter Rally? MC auditions will be held on December 7th at the lunch in the at lunch in the Black Box. We hope to see you there. Are you looking for something fun to kick off your Thanksgiving break? The PSHS Theater Company will be having their fall production of Fairy Tale Courtroom. There's a show on Friday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., and the final performance is Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets are only five dollars for students and staff, and the audience gets to decide the fate of the Big Bad Wolf and the Wicked Witch. This means that there will be a different ending every night. Don't miss out on this fun production. Winter Formal is January 20th. Only 400 tickets will be sold. So make sure you get yours as soon as possible. Hope to see you there, Indians. Attention Indians, our very own Garden Club and Rotary Club are collabing on December 2nd to bring Family Day to our school. During this event, our club members will be teaching people how to plant, harvest, and cook different types of plants, including turnips, peas, tomatoes, and more. Family Day will take place on December 2nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Garden. Make sure to spread the word. Everyone is welcome. Next week is our fall break. During this break, we will not be holding class. Fall break will take place the week of November 20th to the 24th. Class will resume again on November 27th. Indians, it is important to get to your classes on time. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're left behind. And finally, Indians, please help our campus look nice and clean. Throw your trash away. Don't pass it up, pick it up. Up next is our student produced segments. Enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome back to Java Talk, the show where you never miss a single thing. Uh, today we're going to be asking the age-old question, how tough is it really to bake a cake? <clears throat> Let's talk about that! We're just baking a cake, and by the way, disclaimer, we are complete amateurs. Let's yeah. Go Let's just yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're here in the kitchen. Uh, we've also made a promise that our kitchen veterans here. We got Bryce behind the camera and Kaylin over there. They are not going to be helping us at all. So yeah. we are on our own making this cake up here. So mom wouldn't let us use the eggs. So we have to use powdered eggs. <laughs> How many Gosh. cups of flour do you think we need? Five. Okay, pour that two. In. There we go. We're going to use eggnog instead of milk. Yeah. Expiration date is October 21st. <laughs> Get a little whiff. It smells okay. fine. Yeah. Two tablespoons. One, two, and then like eggnog mash. Yeah, 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 some butter. That oh, that's. Good. There's the before mixture, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna get all that flour down up in there. We might need a bit more eggnog because this is a lot of flour. <laughs> is this too much sugar? <laughs> no. Okay. Judging by no, judging, no, we're eating this. We're gonna make this a vanilla eggnog shake. Oh god, it's full of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, Ron, we got to dump the vanilla and the eggnog. We need liquids in here now. It's so right. It is so dry, just like. It's not enough, Ron. This stuff is really potent, okay? I mean, where's the eggnog at? <laughs> this is gonna be the most flavorful cake ever created. <laughs> my bad, G. <laughs> so much. Looks like scrambled eggs. Can we get an ASMR real quick? Let me just... Wait, move it down so the camera can see. I say we empty these bad boys into here. That'll fit. Do you guys have icing? Alright, I think it was good. Okay, okay. Mm, uh, what fun? Oh, good idea, good idea. I was just gonna say. <laughs> you guys made so much batter. We're gonna make some for you guys. Oh, I'm, I'm glad actually. I'm really glad. Yeah. Okay, the first one we're going in. We're pretty focused. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's just. There you go. There you go. Wait, no, no. Scoop it all right into this Yeah, thing. these. Guys, cake rises. I want you to know that. Yeah, like, yeah, but you know what? I think that's just, that's 
Poor physics. You're right. Let's just. Jackson, what are we feeling? I'm thinking 500. <laughs> this is our this is our creation. We got the Snickers cupcakes mm, along with yes. the M&M cupcakes. Mm -hmm. We could probably put it in while it's preheating, right? Right. Efficiency. Oh my god. Look gosh. at that bad boy. Beautiful. The big reveal. Shaboomski. Yeah, let me just look out here. Wow. You know, go there we go. First try. Look Dude, at that. Looks look at that. like delish. Did you spray the pan? <laughs> you just spray the pan gonna with oil. It's gonna stick. It's gonna gotcha. stick. You're not gonna be able to get them out. No. Okay. Well, that was an experience. Uh, Bryce, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce. You kind, Thanks, kind, kind gent. Uh, just dig in. Want to just grab half? Put right there. Just okay. He's a little dry. Okay, on the drier side. Okay. Dink it. Dink it and sink it. It tastes like nothing with a little M&M. Might have been the five cups of flour we put in there, I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely delightful, I must say. <laughs> I, must say. <laughs> I must say that is a proud, proud treat right there. Uh, I believe fantastic. I would serve that to anyone. Not, not These are bad. probably the best cakes I've ever tasted. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. This has been John. Oh. Yo, this feels like a brick. <laughs> okay. Oh my, dude. <laughs> dude, this is not the consistency of cake at all. Why is Bro. it so chunky? Dude, it's like it's literally a brick. Okay. This is this is disgusting. <laughs> My name is Mr. Yo Kimkis, so my students call me Mr. Yo. Uh, this is my 19th year here on campus, and I'm finally able to say that I've been teaching here longer than you guys have been alive. Yes. Freshman in high school when I made my first thing on the wheel, it was a little Phoenix Suns cup. I still have it in my cupboard today. Um, since that moment, I really like making functional things that you could also call art and take them home and use them. It's what I try and instill in my class. We always make functional things in here, and I don't know, I, I, I think they enjoy it when they get to take it home and actually use the pieces that they make. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I've got 25 wheels in here. Uh, it's always a question about when kids are gonna get on there. It's the thing that I enjoy most about this. So we're actually just starting the wheels today. They're all on it for the first time. So it's like watching like little giraffes learn how to walk for the first time. You guys should come in and check out some of these things they're making. This is kind of my my fun thing. If I wasn't teaching it, I'd be doing it at my house anyway. Uh, I, I like the fact that kids like to learn something that's hands-on. It's a break from core classes, which get a little like tedious sometimes. Um, I teach because I like these aha moments, like uh, when they figure something out or when they make something great or when they're, when they're proud of an example, you know? It's a really neat thing to see for the kids to be successful in here. My classroom's always open door. Kids are always willing to come in here and check things out. Usually the complaint is kids don't want to get dirty. Uh, your hands get a little bit dirty. Sometimes your clothes a little bit, but it all washes off. The things you make in here last for a lifetime. In the second semester, I always have a couple of kids that join. Uh, we're going to start our sculptural unit and we're going to be making animal sculptures, cartoon sculptures, and abstract human forms. And those are the next three projects when we get back from the holidays. Awesome. Yeah. It, all right. Thank you. Who was the most chill and carefree man in history? That would be Dysogenes. Dysogenes lived in 300 BC in Greece. One day, Dysogenes was drinking water from a bowl. After seeing a kid drinking water from his hands, he threw away his bowl. Dysogenes believed humans needed to live a carefree and not stick to materialistic ideals. Dysogenes chose to live in a barrel surrounded by dogs, believing only nature understood him. When Alex the Great got to meet him after being a fan, Dysogenes said, Get out of my way, you're blocking the sun. When asked Alexander the Great if he could be anyone, he replied with Dysogenes. When asking Dysogenes if he could be anyone, he said he would only want to be Dysogenes. That's it for today, Indians. Make someone smile today. In the silence of the desert
where the sands of silver shine, stands our glorious alma mater, tis our haven and our shrine.